Hi guys and welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to teach you how to chip the goalkeeper when you're in those 1v1 situations. So what happens is when you're in those 1v1 situations with the goalkeeper, if you've broken away, typically the goalkeeper starts to charge you down. And as you can see, as Jack starts to close me down here, the goal gets a lot smaller. As he gets closer and closer and closer, it becomes near impossible to be able to slot that ball past him into the corners. If he stays on his line, you've got the whole goal to shoot out. So a lot of the goalkeepers try and close you down. So sometimes in a match, you might have to go for the over the head of the goalkeeper option. So you've got to use a certain type of technique that's going to allow you to get the ball up and over the other side of the keeper to drop down in the net. Most people, when they're performing a chip shot, they just get their foot under the ball, kind of like when they're playing a long pass. This is not the technique you want to use in a 1v1 situation. Reason being, the flight of the ball has a more diagonal flight. So if you can imagine, Jack's closing me down and I try and do a chip, it's just going to go straight into him. You're not going to be able to get it over the top of him. And even if you do get it over the top of him, there's no chance that ball's going to drop down on the other side. You're just going to sky it over the crossbar. So instead, the technique you want to use, so as Jack starts to close me down, because there's only a small gap behind him, you need to get that ball up and down. We're using more of a scoop technique, so it goes over him and then drops over the other side and into the back of the net. It's totally fine if the ball bounces before it goes in the goal, because it's very difficult for the goalkeeper to do a whole 180 degree spin to turn and recover that ball. So let's talk about how to perform this technique correctly. So as I already mentioned, you don't want to be chipping the ball like you would for a long ball. You shouldn't see any backspin on the ball. If you see top players like Messi, Robin, those players who perform these chips quite often, if you look at it in slow motion, you'll see the ball actually has top spin on it. So you want to be digging your foot underneath the ball and then scooping it over him and you should see it's top spin as it comes over the other side. Top spin is going to allow it to get up in the air and then drop nice and aggressively past the goalkeeper. So you don't need any power, you don't need loads of back lift or anything like that. You'll see when Messi, Robin, they're one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper, the keeper comes out and they're not lifting their leg as they perform the chip. It almost catches the goalkeeper off guard because all they're doing is lifting the ball and they flick it from the toe here. So they get their foot underneath the ball and they flick their toe so it goes right up in the air. And usually the goalkeepers are caught off guard. And the final tip is when you're about to make contact with that ball to lift it, always angle your body in the direction you want the ball to travel. If you're one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper and you're straight on, you're already in a situation where your foot and your body is going towards where the goal is. But if you're coming at an angle and Jack starts to close me down, I need to start angling my body 45 degrees towards my right-hand side. So as I make that last touch and I'm about to scoop it, I'll angle my body out, scoop it over him so that it can lift over at an angle and drop down on the other side. Okay guys, so those are all my tips for when you're in those 1v1 situations and the goalkeeper's closing you down, so your only option is to lift it over the top of him. No goalkeeper likes to be chipped. Oh, no. It's very embarrassing. <laughs> I'd equivalent it probably to a nutmeg. It's probably for an worse. Out. Probably worse? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've played against goalkeepers in training. If you chip it and they catch it and you've got it wrong, expect that ball coming back at you at high velocity. But that was a good little session there. Great little session back with Jack. We're gonna be making a lot more videos together. Thanks for your help, Jack. Hey, Appreciate Jack. it as always, mate. Good to be hey, back time. out here with you. But make sure you take these tips into account, practice them over and over and over again. If you did enjoy this video, make sure you smash that like button, hit the subscribe button for weekly training videos, and I will see you guys in my next video. See you, Jack. Oh, oh yes, I did.